What's happening? I don't know. Unless, uh, tomorrow's newspaper. Do you still have it? Yeah. Local accountant beaten. Left for dead. Local accountant Arthur McFly was severely beaten and left for dead on the steps of the Hill Valley Courthouse last night. They're gonna kill my grandpa? Tannen's goons, no doubt. Probably in retaliation for Arthur answering that subpoena you delivered. What are we gonna do? I'm not sure what we can do. According to this, your grandfather was dumped on the doorsteps of the courthouse five minutes ago. My dad's picture is disappearing. That's the time stream catching up with your grandfather's fatal wounds. Which means your father will never be born, and neither will you, unless... <laughs> when did you last see your grandfather? Four o'clock, in the town square. Let's give him enough time to make his deposition. Right. We'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. That shouldn't be a problem in your case. I mean, you were in jail. All right, let's get moving before the police find us. Freeze! Ah. Step out of the car with your hands up. What was that? What was what? Crap! I heard something back there. I think you're mistaken, officer. Well, looks like I caught me a fugitive. Carl Sagan, the speakeasy arsonist. A legend speakeasy arsonist, if you don't mind. What the heck kind of buggy is that? Stay back! It's a prototype, still untested, liable to blow up at any moment. Or suddenly take off without warning. Is that so? There it is again. I think the night air is playing tricks on you, officer. What is it, some kind of foreign job? A German or something? Not at all. This is solid American workmanship. Now I'm sure something's back there. Looks like something out of Buck Rogers. A year from now, everybody will be driving these babies. Huh. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a promotion in this. You're getting to be a valuable commodity in Hill Valley. That's very gratifying to hear. I hope you don't mind cooling off a few minutes till reinforcements get here. I don't mind, but the car may have other ideas. What was that? What was what? Crap! I heard something back there. I think you're mistaken, officer. I'd like to get a closer look at that getaway car. What's that? Off in those bushes. Huh? I didn't hear anything. He hasn't spotted me I yet. I thought it was my henchman returning, but you're probably right. It was nothing. Henchman, you say? Hmm. There it is again. I think the night air is playing tricks on you, officer. What was that? I didn't hear anything. I'll be fine until you get back. You got it, Doc. What was that? Four fifty-five. 
Artie's gotta be in there somewhere, spilling his guts to the DA. There he is! All I gotta do is get to him before- Mr. Crockett! I was wondering if I could do a little follow-up interview with you about the plight of poor Mr. Sagan. My sources indicate that Judge Brown will be setting him free tomorrow. I wouldn't bet on that. What's that? Nothing. Listen, can we talk later? I've really got to get to the courthouse right now. Really? Why? My grandpa. He needs me as a character witness. To get a fishing license. Oh. Well then. Carry on. And do put that vicious dog of yours on a leash, will you? We have laws about that sort of thing, you know. Sure, no problem. Ah! Ah! Oh, come on, yesterday, Marty. Stop talking. Get moving. Einstein? Einstein, what is it, boy? Go away, boy! Crap! Einstein! Is it a squirrel, Liney? You wanna play? Okay, let's play. What are you up to, Einie? Get into that courthouse and grab Artie before Tannen's guys. Ah! Ah! Hey! Oh, God. Um, hey! According to my calculations, the rotary engine for a full-scale rocket drill requires 1.21 kilowatts of power. Can you check over my work to make sure? Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah. But I need to get to Arthur. Why? I have to brief him on what to say to the DA. Oh, are you the legal expert now? Come on. Shouldn't we be getting on with our work? We're on a strict deadline, right? Sure. But Arthur's on an even deader deadline. Why are you so suddenly concerned about Arthur? Oh my god, what the hell is that? What's what? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. No, I, I mean before, while I was walking towards you. I wasn't talking to anyone. I was working on equations for my rocket drill. No, I mean after. Uh, never mind, let's get going. Follow me. I thought I'd never leave. At least now I have a clear shot to the courthouse. Gotta come with me. Look, you're in a lot of danger. What do you mean I'm in danger? No time to explain, Gran. Artie, just promise me you'll stay at the police station until- Artie McFly. Just the guy we're looking for. Hey, fellas. Run! Get him! Artie? Uh -huh. <sighs> I better pick up their trail before I start fading out again.
looks clear. All right, McFly. Let's go see the boss. Buddy, how's my favorite accountant doing? Oh, I've been better. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, McFly. Trixie, take a powder, doll. We got business to discuss. K.O., you boys play nice now. Mwah. Nice to see you again, Artie. You too, Miss Trotter. Yeah, yeah, we're all happy as clams. Now scram. <sighs> Are you guys stupid? What are you thinking, bringing this fish food to my doorstep? We just thought that was your first mistake. Thinking. Look at me. Do you ever catch me thinking? Huh? Uh... Don't answer that. Look, just drag him inside, find out what he told the DA, then get rid of him. I think we can handle that. Good. Now, if you don't mind, I've got an arsonist to snuff out. And will one of you slobs start hauling these crates in? We're on it, kid. So far, so good. Ha! Huh. I, I better get in there quick. Contents. One winged goddess. Oops. Nice fit. Here goes nothing. Get the crates, cue ball. Stir the soup, cue ball. Clean out the blood stains, cue ball. Shit. I'm not a gangster, I'm a freaking butler. Now, which one of you guys goes in first? Jeez, for a gal with no arms, you sure is heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind? I'm trying to conduct a professional interrogation over here. Where should I put this? Just shove it behind the bar. I'll just shove you behind the bar. Mm. Come on, Artie. Jeez, how much chloroform did you put on that rag anyway? What? Because I'm having a hard time bringing Sleeping Beauty here around. Uh, uh, Let me see. Uh... Artie, we got a few questions about you and the D.A. D.A. Day D E D. You see what I'm working with here? Seems to be catching. Zane, wake up. Oh, sorry, boss. This stupid cold got me wiped out. <laughs> well, try to stay awake long enough to finish that poster, will ya? We got a club to open in a few days. And turn off that sign, would ya? I'm sleepyhead. No wonder Artie's so out of it. Zane, how's Trixie's poster? I can't take that. Zane would know something's up. Hey guys, I don't feel so. Zane, wake up, you lazy bum! Must have been the cold. Cold my eye. He's been dipping into the inventory. The inventory. One more on down. Two to go. Come on, Artie, wake up. 
You're sleeping your life away. Literally. Hey! Hey! What was that? There must be some wiring problems with the emergency button. I hope the Sisters of Mercy approve of our redecorating. <laughs> Dermot's Canadian whiskey. I hope the Sisters of Mercy approve of our re. Ow! Nye, What the? I think we blew a fuse. Well, go up to the soup kitchen and get a new one. Why me? You'd rather hang around and talk to this guy, huh? Three days are here again. Yeah, I'll just get that fuse. Wake up, sleepyhead. Nah. Bam! Right in the kisser. about 40 years. Is anyone Whoa. down there? Everything's spinning. Come on, Artie. Let's get out of here before these jerks get a chance to kill you. Wait a minute. They were gonna kill me? <sighs> Great. This isn't funny, guys. 